Welcome to Cook Graphics. My name is Opoin Chichuku, and in this video, we're going to be creating this beautiful photography banner that you can actually use for your photography signages or get inspired and come up with good designs or awesome designs for your photography brand or signages. But before I move to this video, I just want to let you guys know where I get my design resources and fonts. But I know a lot of you know where I get my design resources. I mean, that's Pinterest. That's where I get my design resources. Let's say I want to get a photography lens or a camera. You can actually add PNG at the end of it so that you can actually get images without backgrounds. All right. And where I get my fonts is the fonts. I'll put the link in the description there are a lot of fonts that you can use for your designs so without any further ado but if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel and if you find this video helpful or get inspired let me know in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into this video okay so we are going in for pixels uh 1900 pixels by 720 pixels and the color mode you just choose rgb let's change the background to black and then create so the first thing grab the pen tool you can press p on the keyboard and start creating this shape that i'm doing right here take your time and get that curve well so let me okay so we're gonna ch you can choose any color to fill and then for the stroke you just don't need a huge stroke right so i'll go ahead and decrease the size of the stroke let me go ahead and change it um this one is too small let me increase that okay so this is good and the next thing that we need to do is grab the polygon tool so right click um right click and then choose polygon and then from the top there you can actually choose the size that you want i'm taking six which is a hexagon so let me go ahead and decrease the size and then place it somewhere here okay so i don't like the stroke um i don't want the stroke to be the same size as the first one so i'm going to increase the stroke of the hexagon to be a little bigger than the other shape that we created first so let's duplicate the hexagon and just overlap the edges or the sides all right make sure um they are in line so that it could look like they are sharing the same side okay just like that take your time and just place one side on top of the other just like this okay so the next thing that we need to do is duplicate the first hexagon that we did all right this one so click that and then duplicate that one and then turn the bottom one off all right turn it down okay now grab the elliptical marquee tool and then make an ellipse like that okay then go to select and then choose transform selection now you can move the selection to any parts that you want so we are going to place it right here because you're going to cut it from the hexagon now right click on the hexagon and then choose rasterize and then just press delete on the keyboard to cut it out just like this now let's go and bring in um the lens image that we got here link in the description and then decrease the size and then place it between those two shapes just like this okay and i'm going to bring another lens but this one we are actually going to decrease the size and place it um at the center of that lens okay so select the two lens images and bring them to the top and then link them and then lock them all right okay so select the first hexagon and then bring your first image decrease the size and then position it well then you clip it to the hexagon just like that then after that you can just resize or position it well now we need to go back to the duplicate that we did 
since we've lost the strokes when we rasterize the shape so let's bring it to the top now let's go and turn down the fill and then activate the stroke which is white okay so we have the strokes back but we need to rasterize the stroke again and then grab the elliptical marquee and then go back to the select transform selection and then place it where we want to cut it from the stroke okay so this place is good press delete on the keyboard to take it away after that press ctrl d to take away the selection now we have this now grab the pen tool and then join the strokes together with a curve all right so this is what we have then go up there and take away the fill and then turn on the stroke so let me change the size of the stroke all right then after that we just need to tweak the position let's bring it back and then increase the size for it to touch the other end okay so now we have this looking gray looking g that's what we wanted okay so let me adjust the position of this image okay now go ahead and click on this shape and then bring in your hero image so this is my hero image i'm going to place it right there and then clip it to the shape that's good and you can tweak the position anytime you want now let's add the rest of the images you just click the shape then you bring in the image that you want so that to be placed on top of the shape then you can go ahead and clip it like this now let's go ahead and add a hue and saturation then clip it to the image then bring down the saturation like this then click the next shape and then bring in the image that you want so i have this image right here i'm just gonna clip it into the shape then i'll add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and then clip it to the image and then bring down the saturation okay so this is what we're going to do for the rest of the shapes so you just click and then you bring in the image that you want to clip in and then you just clip it into that you just need to add saturations to others you can, you can choose whatever you want you can just leave it out if you don't want to add saturation or desaturate the images you can go ahead and do that but i love to desaturate some of the images and others too i won't desaturate so if you made it to this far just kindly subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment below any questions that you have you can just ask me and i'm going to do my best to answer you all right so that image right there is not fitting well so we just need to change the fill to black so that it will blend together now let's go ahead and add the last image that we got and one thing is that these images that i'm using were taken in our studio so i cannot actually include them in the resources okay so you can just go out there and grab i mean images that you want and just use them for this tutorial by the way let me increase that image a little okay now i'm going to select all the layers and shift them to the left a little because those two images at the top right corner are actually not showing well so I'm just going to tweak that a little okay so from here i think we're almost done so the next thing that we're going to do is just do copy and paste um these ones from our previous videos then just paste them right here i really love this font that's why i've been always using them or i've been using them throughout my photography videos all right and don't worry the link will be in the description just grab that and then you're good to go so i'll just be pasting copying and pasting them right here so the rest will be copy and pasting and if you are inspired by this video let me know in the comment section and if you're a photographer and after watching this video you should be having ideas about how to upgrade your signages um, making good designs and even if you are finding it difficult to come up with good designs for your banners and rule-ups um, you can actually send me a message on my instagram handle cool graphics and i can help you out sort things out um that's what we've been doing so 
for this guy right here um i'll resize that and place it right here and then go to filter camera raw and then increase the exposure a little just like that then let's bring another camera this guy let's resize and place it right here sometimes when you download the images from pinterest uh, even though they will be png but you still have to cut them out they will be having those gray boxes which are pixels so you have to cut them out so i'll just add the logo that's homeboy films or homeboy studios and you can actually place them anywhere you want but i'll rotate that and you know place it here that's where i prefer no let me just move it okay let me bring okay so that's good <laughs> yeah so i'll add i mean some lens flares graphic designers and lens flare <laughs> all right so i will change that to i mean linear dodge add we've been doing this in previous videos if you've been following or if you've been watching my videos all right so all these resources will be i mean the link to these resources will be in the description It'll take you to my telegram channel if you are new this should be new to you go to my telegram channel kindly like, subscribe to my channel and then you grab the resources all right so let me put this light right here and copy that one and bring one to this side okay now let me bring another one here send another one there <laughs> let me increase that and that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so you're gonna miss any of my videos and i'm out peace